Hi everyone, this is Susie Byler and I am popping in here before we get to the channeling because I'm giving a bit of a heads up about the content of this video. Uh, I did ask Prime Creator about Jeffrey Epstein and I certainly do not consider myself the authoritative source of information on this. Um, the energy when I was channeling was quite murky. It was very challenging to translate the energy. So I would just invite you, as always, to use your discernment as you watch this information. I did leave it fairly unedited because I wanted you to be able to see kind of my reaction to the energy. Um, and if you are super sensitive and you can feel uh, energies through the video screen, you may not even want to watch it. Um, you know, it's not like horrible, awful, um, but it's not pleasant either. So I just wanted to give you that little heads up. And if you'd like to be part of these group gatherings where you get to ask Prime Creator any question that you want, join us as a Master or Supreme Creator in the Creation Temple. We meet every week live via video. We are a true soul family. You'll be entering a quantum field where miracles happen. So uh, I just wanted to extend that invitation to you and enjoy this channel video. Well, welcome everyone to this episode of Channeling with Prime Creator in Sedona, Arizona. I'm Susie Byler, founder and lead facilitator in the Creation Temple. And today we're going to ask a question about the soul. I have been uh, doing a lot of work with soul reconnection with myself and with the Creation Temple members and with my clients. And one of the questions that has emerged in that soul connection work is, does the soul generate its own energy? Does the soul get its energy from somewhere else? Uh, in my own personal work, I'm drawing my energy from my soul and from my source. Like for me, my source is my soul. And so I'm wondering, the energy that I'm pulling into my being and into my body from my soul, is that energy all generated from my soul or is it generated, um, is there an outside source that feeds energy to my soul? So we're gonna ask Prime Creator about that. Yes, dear one, we have spoken many times about how the soul is whole and complete within itself. And in some ways, this includes the self-generating energy of the soul, for as it evolves, as it grows and expands, there is a quality of self-generating energy. As more experience is integrated, more energy is added to the soul, so to speak, and there is also an external source. As you understand linearity, there is external energy that comes to the soul from the source of all that is. And so, in your example, when you are drawing energy into your being from your soul, you are also drawing energy from source that comes through your soul into your being. In some ways, this is why there is an understanding of oneness and unity and everything being connected because each soul is connected to the source of all that is. But there is delineation between each soul. Not each soul is taking advantage of the full access of their source connection. Not every human is fully accessing all of the energy of their soul. 
And so there are places along the way in which this unlimited energy becomes restricted or perceived as more limited. In terms of the soul being self-generating, the way in which this works is that as the soul integrates new experiences and gathers new energetic signatures from other places of delineation, there is an energetic charge that is received or generated by the soul. And so it works with both self-generating energy as well as energy that is perceived as external. Yeah, I had that experience with that one star on, what was it? August the 4th, Sunday morning, around 1 a.m. before and after, I looked at the north, from the bathroom window to the north east, I saw a star there. And I think it was moving left, right, up and down. I get, got my binoculars and looked at it, and I saw two dots on the left, on the right, at the one time, even two dots vertical on top and bottom reflections. I was looking through the fly screen and I know there are, could be reflections in the binoculars itself. I looked at other stars, I didn't see any reflections. So is there more behind it? I was looking even next couple of days again. Yeah? Once in a while that star moved like crazy. Dear one, first, these were not reflections that you were seeing, not in, not in the sense that you are thinking in terms of reflections. What you were seeing is a planet being born. It was not a ship. but a planetary being coming into physical form. The lights around it that you were seeing were the energies of the birthing. For when a planet comes into form, there is much energy in order to make this happen. And so you were seeing the energies showing up as light or what looked like possible reflections of light. As you continue to look upon this being in the future, you will see it becoming more stable. It will not move around in the sky quite so much. It was the movement you were seeing is because it was finding its place in your galaxy. This planet is not in your solar system but it is a fairly large planet and this is why you were able to see it. Do you have further questions about this, dear one? I looked it up later on that computer program here and I think it could be that star or that, what they say, Capella. So as it was, yeah, according to what I saw with other star constellations, and I saw, figured it out, 
that must be that one. Is that right or is that a different one? The star you are referring to and the stars around it contributed to the creation of the planet, but it is not that star. In other words, that star did not turn into this planet. But it did give some energy to assist the creation of this planet. There was that uh, with the political ar arena there, that alleged suicide from that Epstein. Remember, dear ones, how we spoke of beings that would be sharing behind the scenes information and how the shadow forces do not want this information to be released. And this is most certainly the case with this being, for he was going to share the secrets of the pedophilia rings and much more that is or that and that is and that has been happening in shadow government and not just in the US but globally this channel is asking is he still alive or has his life been taken? He is still alive, dear ones, but his life does hang in the balance. He may not continue to stay alive. It is very tenuous. There is nothing else to share about this at this time, dear ones. Simply understand that, as we have spoken about before, much is happening behind the scenes. And much will continue to unfold behind the scenes in efforts for the light to be shared, for disclosure to happen for these shadow occurrences to be brought into the light and into the public eye. These attempts are being made. However, there are equal attempts by the shadow to squelch and squash these disclosures. The most important thing regarding all of this, dear ones, as we have spoken many, many times before, is to maintain your focus on what you are creating, the new earth that you would like to see, the creations of light that you would like to bring forward. For while these incidences are very serious and very real, and you should not necessarily ignore them, it is equally as important to maintain your focus for it would be very easy to go into upset or despair or anger or other, emotion, other emotions that do not truly serve what you are trying to create. When you maintain your focus, dear ones, 
it will be a smoother ride to the desired outcomes. And so I do urge you and invite you, dear ones, to go back into your hearts, to center your energies, and to be laser focused in what you are creating and how you are living your lives. Thank you, Prime Creator. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that Epstein thing is intense. Gross. Icky. Mm. Nasty. Yeah.